Hello, welcome to this special edition of Morris Money Late Nights, where we give you stock tips in under five minutes. I'm your host, Morris Willie. Before we start, I have some exciting news. The 100 subscriber special comes out Friday, so be sure to tune into that and you'll be able to catch the Friday edition of Morris Money on a special Saturday edition. Now, let's talk about a Morris Money favorite, Lucid Motors, and why some are considering the recent surge a potential bubble and unhealthy for the stock market. Recently, Matt Malley, the chief market strategist of Miller Tebeck, was on Yahoo Finance Live, and he touched on the recent surge in electric vehicle stocks, specifically Rivian and Lucid Motors. But today, I'm going to touch on Lucid Motors as we've been talking about them recently. He said, fellow electric vehicle maker Lucid isn't too far behind Rivian in terms of explosive stock price as of late. Lucid stock surged 118% inside of one month, with the latest push higher coming amid upbeat order data shared this week. Shares also closed down 5% Wednesday. Similar to Rivian, the company is also losing a great deal of money as it ramps up its production capacity to meet initial consumer demand. At a market cap of $85 billion, Newcomer Lucid has a higher market cap than Ford and nearly General Motors with Ford having a market cap of $79 billion and General Motors having a market cap of $93 billion respectively. Malley went on to explain, just like in 1999 when Amazon stock got way, way, way ahead of itself, it's a great company and changed the world, but the stock has to come down. I'm not saying that we are going to have the same problems next year that we had in 2000 with a major bear market, but this market is being run by liquidity and much less so than on economic growth or earnings growth. This liquidity is going to become less plentiful and people need to start preparing for how they are going to react when this market starts to come down at some point. It's inevitable and I think it will come down at some point in the next 12 months. When reading this article, the last paragraph I just read struck me the most. You have people like Mally and even JP Morgan saying that prices over the next couple years will be stagnant. JP Morgan even going on to say that you should invest in foreign markets as they will have more growth over the coming years. This makes me somewhat worry about my lucid position. I'm now up over 100%, which is mind-boggling to me, because just a couple weeks ago, I was in the red on this position. So that's always great to see, and it's always a blessing. But now I have to start preparing for the future. What should I do? Should I sell some of my stock or keep buying? Probably not keep buying, but hold my position for the long term. If we see short-term price action that ends up bringing the stock back down, then it might be a time to buy. But at current prices, I think it would be too speculative to keep buying in. So as of right now, I'm holding. And if we see any negative downtrend, I might consider selling as I can secure profit on the downtrend and just buy back in. Let me know your thoughts below. How do you feel about Lucid Motors and the EV sector in general right now? Please don't take this video as financial advice and thank you for watching Morris Money.